Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the hypervisor was not found, followed by an error code 0xc0351000. No hypervisor is present on the system. Would you like to submit feedback about this issue? And it should say please enable hypervisor support if it wasn't already obvious. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle, and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, type in Windows Features. Best results should come back, or one of the best results should say Turn Windows Features On or Off. Go ahead and select that option. And then you want to locate the Virtual Machine Platform. If it's in this list, as well as the Windows hypervisor platform you want to go check mark both of those so there should be two different items in here again virtual machine platform as well as windows hypervisor platform you check mark both of those on here and then you would go select ok and it would install or enable those features again if it was supported and another thing you can try here if you select on ok just close out of there if you open up the start menu type in cmd best results should go back with command prompt if you right click on that and select run as administrator you want to go select yes in the resulting user account controls pop-up and now I'm going to have a command in the description of the video I want you guys to copy it to your clipboard and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window right click on it select edit and then paste in this command hit enter on the keyboard it should say the operation has completed successfully so that's another workaround option for you guys so pretty straightforward process on how to do that and hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem and you also want to just make sure that again your computer actually supports it and if you want to check the CPU virtualization you can also do that through task manager so we close it here and we were to open up task manager just by right clicking on the taskbar and selecting task manager and then you navigate it to the performance tab you see underneath CPU on the right side there should there very well could be something that says virtualization if it says disabled, that means that it's disabled. If it's enabled, it means it's enabled. And I'm just in a virtual machine, and it says yes, so that's why the options are a little bit different for me. But otherwise, you guys get the point. So pretty straightforward process. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.